Hmm? Oh, hey, it's you. I was wondering when we'd meet again. Didn't think you'd make me wait so long. Ah, uh, right. It's probably uncomfortable for you to tilt your head so far back just to talk to me. Here, hop aboard the hand elevator. I'm sure you'll find it comfy. There we go. Last time we met, I put you on the roof of a building. But now I just want to keep holding you. Yeah, about that. I've been getting over my fear of holding people. I got myself worked up for no reason. It's not even like it's all that scary. What's the worst that'll happen? It's not like I'm gripping them or anything, and I'm certainly not so careless as to drop them by accident. Oh yeah, speaking of, the law enforcement around here have recently started telling people, don't harass the giantess. I guess they realized that I was getting too much unwanted attention. They've also established a no-fly zone around me, so hopefully no more helicopters will get caught in my hair. Those things are a pain to dig out. You have something to ask me? Well, don't be shy. What is it? What? A date? Really? Wow, uh, jeez, so sudden. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, no, don't worry one bit. That's really sweet. I'll totally go on a date with you. But there's just one problem. I'm a behemoth. I don't know where we could go or how this'll work. You know a rooftop restaurant. Well, that's convenient. I assume that it must be open to the sky, right? Really? Well then, show me the way. The night is young. Let's make the most of it. Wow, you weren't kidding. This place is perfect for someone like me. The roof is at level with my face. You chose the best spot for our date. And everyone is staring at me. Suppose I can't blame them. I'd probably do the same. Just act natural. All right, I'll try my best. Oh, hey, our waiter is already here. Oh my god, the look on their face is priceless. I think I'm starting to enjoy watching people's reactions to seeing me. It's humorous. Hello. Uh, yes, I'm ready to order. Um, I hope it's not too much to ask, but... Can I just get one of everything on the menu? I have the money for it. It'll take some time. That's okay, I'll be patient. Thanks. This is gonna be a long night. I can feel it. So, while we wait for our food, would you be interested in hearing about some of my new gigs? Well, of course, silly. If fate has decided that I'm going to be this big, I'm not just gonna sit around and do nothing. I need to occupy my time with things to do. Volunteer work. I already possess a fortune. I guess I'll start with Gulliver Engineering, since they're the reason I got into this mess in the first place. They recently got back to me and said that they're trying to rebuild the size ray. And they promised that it wouldn't malfunction this time. God, can you imagine if I got even bigger? I could potentially wave to people inside passenger planes flying at cruising altitude. And I certainly wouldn't be able to fit in the city anymore. I think that's what one would call a mega giantess. Here's hoping that doesn't happen. As far as volunteer work is concerned, I got a job as a construction worker. Turns out the demolition team doesn't need to waste money on explosives when they have a giant woman to tear down buildings for them. And it's not like they need cranes anymore either. I can do all the heavy lifting myself. It's actually really fun. It's like playing with Legos, but with real buildings. It's so cool. I also got a job as a firefighter. Rescuing people is super easy. 
All I have to do is wait by the windows to see if anyone needs to make a jump for it, and when they do, they'll just land directly onto the palm of my hand. It's really gratifying. And now, my favorite gig. So, you know how the last time we met I joked about starring as a kaiju in the next Godzilla film? Well, as it turns out, that's not actually a joke anymore. The studio making the film wanted to add a humanoid-looking kaiju to the Godzilla universe since that concept hasn't been explored yet. As soon as they caught wind of my existence, they rang me up and asked if I wanted to play the role. Naturally, I accepted. The character's name is Cosmic Goddess Melzenia, the Sunbreaker. Apparently, I'm the main antagonist. My goal is to destroy humanity so I may turn Earth into my own personal paradise. Sounds pretty metal. Although, as big as I am, they're still gonna need to use CGI to make me appropriately big enough for the role. Even at this size, I'm still only about half as tall as Godzilla. What a monster. Oh, there's our food. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. Good lord, that's a lot of carts. Wow, I have no idea how I'm gonna eat all this. You know, without breaking the dishes. I didn't really think about this. No, it's fine. I just gotta figure it out. Well, that was fun. I really enjoyed my time with you tonight. We should do that again sometime. The feeling's mutual. I'm not ready for this date to end quite yet, either. Here's an idea. How about I hold you as high as I can? To get a great view of the city, of course. Come on, it'll be cool. What do you say? That's the spirit. Now hold on tight, cause you're going for a ride. Enjoy the view while you can. This is how I see the world. Maybe it isn't so bad being this big. There's some perks to it. Since I started volunteer working, I've been enjoying life. I could get used to this. It's really late. I should probably go sleep now. Fortunately, the city park has a wide open space for me to lay down in. I don't know where else I'd be able to crash without it. No, I don't get cold at night. At least, I haven't yet. It's summer right now. Not sure what I'm gonna do when autumn or winter rolls around. Hopefully, the size ray will have been remade by then. Who knows, maybe the next time we meet, I'll be normal-sized. Yeah, good point. Such an advanced piece of tech won't be built in a day, or even a week. I expect that I'll have to live at this size for at least another few months. Might as well get used to it. Anyway, I'll put you down now. I hope we meet again soon. I had fun tonight. I'm okay. I just had to look at pictures of guys with purple hair and sharp teeth to hype myself back up again for this recording.